We all agree that the stock video players that come with our devices aren't that great. The Play Store provides a lot of alternatives but many are mediocre at best, making it difficult to find a good one. Well, I went through the trouble of finding the best video players in 2023 so let's get right into it. 1. VLC For most people, it's not surprising to see VLC on this list. It's an OG and definitely has nothing to prove. Most people are used to the PC version but the mobile version is as good if not even better. Personally, I've been using this app consistently for the past 6 years now and not once has it been inconsistent. The app when open displays all videos on your device in a video tab. It also does well to indicate the video resolution in the top left corner which I think is a very nifty feature to have. It has an audio tab if you are interested in playing music files with it. It gives you the option to create a video playlist and also easy access to your file directory to specific videos. The application supports almost every video file format. When playing a video, it allows you to toggle a lot of features on and off, including the screen timer, the video resolution, the video orientation, a screen sleep timer, and many others. My absolute favorite feature is how VLC allows you to download subtitles to any content you are playing right in the app. 2. MX Player This is another obvious pick. MX is basically like VLC with a much pleasing look. It provides you with a wide array of themes that you can choose from which I think is amazing. Aside from being a video player, it has a section that can be exclusively used to listen to all your favorite music. A feature pretty exclusive to MX Player is its file sharing feature, allowing you to send these videos and audio files to other users. It comes with a private folder where files can be hidden, an equalizer and other interesting features. Just dive into the settings and it's like a paradise out there. You can pretty much change every single thing in this application. In its video playing interface, you are given the option to tinker with the aspect ratio of any video, a sleep timer, mute, even selecting the decoder, brightness and volume controls with simple gestures, choosing the audio output as well. It also provides you with the option to download subtitles to videos right from the app. The only problem with MX Player is the fact that it's plagued with occasional ads but I think they aren't much of a nuisance. 3. Nova Video Player Nova isn't the best on this list. It's just like the average video player with a UI that I think is somewhat dated but it comes with an amazing niche feature no other video player I've used has and that's the ability to retrieve online info for any video being it movie or series that is on your device. Once you load up the app, it takes a while to scan through the videos and start to give you amazing info on the platform the series or movie is on, the actors in the movie, the directors and a whole lot of information and honestly, for an offline video player, I think it deserves a place on this list. 4. Multi-screen play This appears on this list for just a singular reason and it is functionality that is pretty much found in its name. It allows you to play not one, not two, not three, but four videos all at once at the same time. The app divides the screen into sections with each section with its own controls for pausing, skipping and playing the video. I think the app is pretty cool and I don't really see any use cases myself. But I guess there is someone out there which this app is made for. I think it would have been absolutely useful if it supported Chromecasting. The downside to this app is the annoying ads that pop up anytime you begin to play a video. 5. Video Player KMP This is a video player that's pretty much straightforward and clean. The app allows you to see your recent videos up top and below is a list of all your folders on your device. Beneath it is a URL bar where you can post any streaming link and start viewing the content right from the app. The app tries its best not to be cumbersome. Even in its settings, there are simple huge set of tabs which you can select and make changes. Viewing content on it is pretty much standard with no extra quirky features and that's pretty much what the app is. I think a lot of people might like this as well. So guys, there you have it. The top 3 5 video players on Android in 2023. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more amazing content like this one.